Hello everybody. Uh, today I will demonstrate how we can integrate Google Analytics with a Next.js website. So today I'll show it with a Next.js project built with App Router. Now uh, the first thing to do is you have to go here analytics.google.com. So if you haven't done it done this before, you just go to this link analytics.google.com and then create a new account. And uh, after that, so let me first show you what is the expected output for this video. So this is the analytics dashboard for my personal portfolio website. So from here, I can see that right now eight users are active, nine users, and I can see where they are coming from. I can see their location, which pages they are visiting, right? What are the events, things like that. So uh, let's see how we can do it. So to do that, as I already have an account, I need to go to this part of the website. So I go to admin. If you are creating a new account on analytics.google.com, you will be asked to create a new account. But I already have an account. So what I will do is I'll create a property. So if you are doing this for someone else, you have to create an account. If you are doing it for the same project, then you will create a property. So that's the distinction between account and property. For example, if you have a project, but you have a web version and mobile version, and you have to track them differently, separately, then you will create two properties for that. So just for demonstration purpose, let me create a new property. Uh, the property is test property, right? These are the default things. Set it up according to your needs. Uh, select the business, uh, select the industry. Next, business objective, whatever, whatever, then create. Uh, once you create, you select your platform. So as we are build, doing this for Next.js website, so this is a web platform. So I'll select web. Then it will ask me for the website URL. Uh, for now, I don't have any URL, but let's say it's test.ai. So uh, this is the test.ai. Uh, it can be whatever you like for now, but eventually when you are deploying it to a particular domain or deploying the analytics for a particular domain, you have to give it. Yeah. For example, my domain is muhammadfaisal.dev. So whenever I'm creating analytics for that, I have to give this one, muhammadfaisal.dev, something like that. Uh, the website name, right? I just create a stream. So stream is basically a data source. And right after that, it will tell me that I haven't integrated it yet properly. Obviously, I haven't integrated it with the website yet so let me first show you what the website looks like so this is the next chess project uh, this is running here on localhost 3000 and how do you see if this is this has any google analytics or not you can just search for g tag it will give you g tag is not defined something like that so this is just a simple way to verify if the analytics is installed or not so let's see what we can do in our analytics page, it is giving us the installation instructions. So we want to install it manually. Uh, if you're using something else, for example, you have CMS and uh, direct integrations, but we are using Next.js, so we'll install it manually. You copy this code, you go to your editor. Uh, inside your Next.js project, find out the root level layout. So that will be under app folder. And if you are using pages router, that will be the underscore dot app dot tsx file or the underscore dot underscore document dot tsx file. So for the this project, it will be under the app layout dot tsx. Here we have HTML. We don't have body yet. So let's add the head here and paste the code. Uh, but it will not work because for next chase, we don't use this script. Instead, we install or uh, we bring in the next script uh import the next script and replace this script tags with next just specific script tags so this script tag allows us to do some uh, further optimizations but we will not talk about that but you'll see that the code is not working as expected uh, because this is something that we added directly which is not supposed to work what we have to do create a curly brace and add some code here uh, so we have to bring this inside a string. So I have uh, added string uh, template here. Just put the code inside this block. 
now your code is formatted but the code is still complaining us because we have to do one more thing which is we have to add a id here so let's say it is google uh, analytics so just copy paste just to recap copy the code from here paste here install script replace the script give it id and bring the code inside the string details that should be it and if our website is running properly let me give it a refresh let's see and now we can see that we have something here which means our analytics is uh, should be successful right so let's go to our uh, website and see if we have anything or not let's go to the analytics dashboard here we should have our new property coming up so now we have a second property test property open it up and it says that no data received from your website that's understandable it can take up to 48 hours but it has never been 48 hours for me usually it's less than uh, one or two minutes so we'll give it a little time and uh, let's see your data collection is active so now we can see that we have a user here who is coming from bangladesh that's obviously me so that's how you can integrate google analytics to your next js app router project uh thank you so much uh let me know uh, if you have any questions or confusions have a nice day bye